For many years, Kelly lived in fear while in the confines of her own home. Whilst I was in it, I wasn't aware that I was in an abusive relationship. Kelly did eventually leave the relationship, but she didn't report the violence. The emotional toll and the stress of going through that process wasn't worth the outcome on the other side, and I, I think many victims would feel the same way. That sentiment isn't unfounded. In 2019, a man who threatened his family with an axe and rammed a police car while fleeing with his children spent just four months behind bars. We know that there are many reasons why victims don't come forward to report these crimes, but the evidence and our officers' experience is that often victims feel like it's not going to be worth it. It's that sense of injustice that prompted the government to act. From as early as next week, when sentencing perpetrators, courts will have to consider whether the offending happened at the victim or perpetrator's home, whether a child was present, if it was a serious family violence offence, and whether the offender has any prior family violence convictions. This law is about making sure they take into account these circumstances and potentially do provide more serious penalties if the matter warrants it. The hope is that victims will have more confidence in the system and feel more comfortable coming forward. Today's changes also allow police officers to wear body cameras in private settings without consent. This is only the first phase of reform. Later this year, the government will consider whether family violence should be an aggravated offence. This would then give the courts even more power to impose even harsher penalties. The Commissioner also wants the courts stripped of their ability to consider an offender's good character. I do not believe that somebody's good character should be available to the court as a reason to decrease a person's sentence in a family violence context. The changes may have come too late for Kelly, but they do give her hope. Harsher penalties can help to really validate the experience of the victims and to empower them to go and seek uh, support or to report or pursue going through the court system. These changes won't eradicate the scourge of family violence, but it's hoped they'll give victims the courage to speak up. Stop! Rosie King, ABC News, Canberra.